How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Blue Shifting, and welcome back to the Fruit of Grisaya. So, I thought when we landed last that this is going to be the prelude to the beach trip, but she's saying we've got lunch spread out, which I assumed, like, now that I've thought about it, probably means that we're staying here, so the beach episode's still probably coming. Don't know when, probably in the future. But we still have a lot of really interesting interactions. Obviously, the beach phase is something they're kind of building up to, so I wonder if it is going to be maybe a pivot point? where uh, a lot of visual novels will have a, a certain area where they'll kind of tally up the uh, the impressions or the choices you've made and whatever like secret number game is running in the programming. And then like, cause usually there's like a large event that they'll do and that's kind of like where the pass will officially diverge. Could that be this? Maybe, probably not. I'm not really sure what to expect, but uh, the fact that it's building up to it, obviously, Maybe it, it knows its audience, and that's why it's building up to it. But yeah, we'll see. I don't know if we'll get to the beach today. Um, depending on how long it takes, though, like even if we get to the beach, I don't know if I would say all that's going to happen in one part. But we'll, we'll we'll get to it when we get to it. So I'm not too too worried about that. Ultimately, though, I think it'll be really fun to see how this all plays out. And of course, there's always more stuff to learn about the characters. So I'm always excited for that. And anyway, we kick back, relax. Let's jump right into it, shall we? So we're going to we've got lunch spread out. Where do you think you're going? Nowhere in particular. Just thought I'd take a little walk to the latitude 34 south, longitude 58 west or so. I have no idea. I I I know enough of longitude latitude where I could kind of like give me a map and give me those, and I could probably suss out where you need me to go or like where it's supposed to be at. Uh, but off the top of my head, no idea. <laughs> Argentina? What? Everyone has their whimsical days, right? I'll get you a souvenir. <laughs> okay. Such hurtful words. It's a, week, it's a weekday afternoon, and here I am walking out of a room to the jeers of a woman spurned. Seems like maybe something of a heartbreaker. Do I appreciate that Amane is concerned about my nutrition, but... Uh, the thing is, these meals have getting getting out of hand lately. Just sitting back and watching the Engel uh, con, uh, confish, uh, I have no idea. Engel confishant going through the roof is growing increasingly awkward. Guess I'll head to the rooftop. Anyway, today I feel like securing myself a place where I can eat in peace. Kazami-san. Uh, Sachi, on the rooftop, even if I eat plain rice balls or the side of baked beans or take a nice siesta, there shouldn't be anyone around to nag me. Kazami-san. Huh? Look, I told you to quit it with that name. <laughs> oh, I see why we didn't recognize her immediately. Hmm. I turn around and find myself confronting a cardboard creature. There's something resembling a maid uniform peeking out from below the massive boxes, but tragically, given far my far from vol 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 vol. vol, vol S screw you and your vocabulary, man. You're trying to say you don't have a good vocabulary, but look what you're doing. Voluminous vocabulary. I can't think of a more appropriate nomenclature. Sorry, but I don't have any cardboard creatures among my acquaintances. If you're not a cardboard creature, then what are you? That's what I'm saying. That a fact. At a glance, you don't seem to be made of plastic. Huh, now that you mention it, that voice does sound familiar. That said, it's also possible you're an imposter assuming the role of Sachi. I'm not even going to ask why you picked them in particular, considering we're in Japan. Anyway, in order to confirm that you're neither a spy nor the incarnate avatar of cardboard, I'd like to ask you two or three questions. Excellent. Well then, first question. Did you hear that nickname you just used from someone in particular? Uh huh. Figured as much. Let's see. When's your birthday? 9月23日です. September. Nice. 
Come to think of it, I didn't know Sashi's birthday in the first place. Oh well. How about your blood type? If she's got a point, O blood type is fantastic. It's the universal donor, not the universal receiver though. Didn't know that. Didn't know that either. <coughs> Um, yeah, I think the way it goes is that O-types can donate blood to anybody, but they can only receive O-type, whereas A-Bs can, uh, receive any blood type, but they can't donate, uh, to anybody other than A-B types. Okay, how about the color of your underwear today? Where do you keep the underwear in question when it's not in use? Huh. Fascinating as all this is, upon reflection, I haven't asked a single question I could actually confirm the answer to. By judging from this unflinching aura of honesty and the way every response somehow makes the guy asking the rude question feel awkward, there's little doubt this is the genuine article. Very well, I accept you, Asachi. She's so proud. But with a polite word of thanks, the cardboard creature, or rather Sachi, bows to me. So I assume you're carrying all this cardboard boxes because someone asked you to? Hi. So, oranges, a cat, and something. I see, and presumably you change into the maid uniform because you're more comfortable working in it. Either way, carrying this massive pile of boxes around must be quite difficult, even for the contents themselves are light. Offer encouragement and go to the roof or help, Sachi. Uh... Hmm... I mean, she seems pretty content. I don't know if I feel like I have to, like, help her. Like, the the part of me that's me wants to help her. The part of me that Yuji is not quite convinced, so. I know you're used to this sort of job, but the more confident you are, the more likely ca like, likely careless accidents become. Try to stay on your toes, all, all right? Uh, no, I don't think that's a call for right now. With this exchange of pleasantries completed, Sachi wanders off toward the stairs, still puzzling over my words. Uh, is she doing this on purpose? Looking back on all my conversations with the girl to date, it's hard to believe anyone could be such a perfect airhead. Either way, I suppose almost every organization has its loafers and its diligent sorts, and it's natural to rely on the hard work of the latter group. But I think the dichotomy of this school might be a little too stark. I feel like we're completely dependent on Sachi's efforts. Might be something worth thinking about. Ah, oh no, maybe I should have helped her. Sorry, but I don't think I'm up for listening to you complain about your life right now. Please try someone else. Oh, so in that case, you want me to help you trim the bonsai tree you started to raise, uh, to raise in the futile attempt to relieve the crushing boredom of your existence? <laughs> You find this exhausting? Personally, my heart throbs with refreshing joy every time I see your face, Chizuru. <laughs> She's like, ugh. <laughs> Instead of responding, she heaves a weary sigh. So, did you need something? Oh. I uh, just sent them on. What? The suppliers didn't bother to you uh, bother to bring them in? Uh, right. So there's a fee for bringing deliveries inside the building now. The world's becoming a cruel place these days. Well, this school has a severe lack of males to help out with this sort of thing. If I refuse, Sachi or the others will probably end up getting pressed into service in my place. Volunteering is a more attractive option. Got it. I'll give you a hand. Nah, just in the mood to earn myself some of those nice pastries that a certain someone is always stocking up on uh, using misappropriated school funds. <laughs> You're saving money by avoiding the delivery fee so you can snack. I was born this way, I'm afraid. Try not to let it get to you. From the moment I coldly rejected Amane's goodwill and fled to the, cl fled the classroom, it seems I was fated to carry things around one way or the other. Alright. So other than that, that was just it. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing, Michiru? 
Michiru's cro uh, crooning nasally to herself. Not particularly pleasant to listen to, but then again, humming is one of the few forms of musical expression that exists solely for the satisfaction of the performer. Sometimes it's a natural outflowing of happiness and a moment of relaxation, but other times it's an attempt to calm the nerves and a moment of crushing stress. I don't know which psychological state has given rise to Michiru's song, but I do know how I can subtly manipulate her mood. I sneak up behind Michiru and softly synchronize my voice with her song. And now I begin to gradually alter the melody, keeping every individual change small enough that she won't catch on. I'm like kind of creepily accurate compared to considering the fact that I'm just guessing. We dropped the mood. <laughs> Me too, spins around flustered, a face revealing a sheer uncomprehending, uncomprehending bewilderment. By slowly changing my upbeat melody into a grim funeral march, I guided her own song down the same dark path, but the victim clearly didn't realize this was my doing. Yo, something to matter? That's a pretty neat trick. Oh, that's a pity. Hmm. Anything? Ooh, me? Like what? Despite its inherently subtle nature, subliminal manipulation of this sort can dramatically influence human behavior through its effects on the subconscious. For example, I could persistently hold eye contact with Michiru as we speak. That could be mildly intimidating in its own right, but the effect increases significantly when I wait for her to blink before doing the same. <laughs> yeah, I'd, 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 that'd be a real rough one. By quickly opening my eyelids before her, Michiru would soon be under the illusion that I never blink. What's more, it's very rare for anyone to consciously notice this is taking place. Ooh. I wonder if you could actually learn how to do that properly. To like wait until they blink and blink really fast to try and make sure they don't notice you blinking so you just look like you're staring coldly and, un and unrelentingly. Instead, a nagging sense of unease grows in the back of their mind. Use that enough of these tricks to outright psychological manipulation as possible. But this time the humming game proved sufficient for my objective of screwing with Michiru. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. You really have to be more specific. What are you accusing me of? <laughs> what, I'm gonna pay for something I don't- you don't have any proof I did? Michiru jabs her forefinger in my direction, her eyes smoldering with aggression. Why get so bent out of shape over something like this? <laughs> this is my normal shape, thank you very much. <laughs> True, but that's not a good thing, you know? Someone once said that relationships are like a mirror. Yeah, that's how mirrors usually work. Your approach seems to involve repeatedly bashing your head against the glass. Planning to go to looking glass land? Just so you know, Humpty Dumpty's currently sitting in a cartoon on a cart on, in a carton on my fridge. That's a weird direction to go with Humpty Dumpty, and plus, through the looking glass, that's a reference to Alice in Wonderland. Alright, I'll give you the short version. Mishu, you tend to treat others with all the friendliness and charm of a lollipop sucking brat who's just been denied a new toy. You know, that's defin definitively incorrect because we've actually seen you when you're in your more relaxed and what I'm guessing is natural state, and you're not like that at all. Hmm, I suppose not. What's a rolling sobot? Michiru shadow boxes in my general direction while making a little kapow sound. Seems she has no idea what a rolling sobot actually is. Neither do I. We're in good company here. Naturally, Makina's here. Ma-Makina! Chiru-Chiru 
素直になる特訓をしたらいいと思うのよさ We can rebuild her, we have the technology そんなの嫌よ私は私でいたいの Hmm, training is it? What do you have in mind? ちょ、ちょっと聞いてる無視しないでよねうん、<笑>マイナスとマイナスをかけるとプラスになるでしょだから、素直じゃない二人をくっつければ素直になると思うのよさ There is a precedent for that Sometimes two people who have Great, uh, disagreeable personalities actually find that they enjoy each other's company quite well because they find somebody who doesn't just deal in pleasantries and bullcrap as far as they're concerned. But I don't know if that'll work here. Makina, my friend, you seem to have equated numerical multiplication with sticking people together. Are you sure the same rules apply? Oh, yeah, because, you know, classically, Yubi and Chidu Chidu. They get to go along like water and oil. Are you planning on literally tying them to each other with a rope or what? Might prove a little tricky. Suppose gluing them together with uh, phenolic, uh, phenolic resin is also an option. Wait, Real life doesn't work like that. You might kill her. Makita swiftly circles behind Michiru and delivers a sharp karate chop to the back of her neck. あり。ちょ、ちょっと何するの。めっちゃ痛いんだけど。うーん。いや、テレビとかだとこれで季節するのよさ。おかしいな。おかしいのあんたでしょ。いきなり首の後ろをチョップして、もし季節でもしたらど
I am feeling really bad. Like, okay, remember I said before that Mishudu was the punching bag of the group? This is now literal. It's annoying. Come on, guys. Like, I understand it's for comedy, but, like, it's getting to the point where it's, like, way over the top. Oh, Chiru Chiru. Now, now, Makina, it's not as though Michiru intentionally drained all the color from her face. She's simply experiencing temporary breathing problems as a result of the sharp impact to her abdomen. Don't you have something to say to her? Oh, I hate that. Have you ever had the wind knocked out of you before? Like, it's the worst. It's like, because you feel like... Your body screams at you because you need oxygen, but because your lungs are, um, they're full of, you know, they have moisture in them because they're part of your body. So when the sides of your lungs actually touch each other, um, they stick because uh, water is ionized, so it likes to stick to itself. And so that feeling of like, <clears throat> or you're like you're trying to breathe, that's, your, that's you like pulling on your diaphragm. Normally that allows you to breathe in deeply, but because the sides are sticking, you're like slowly having to pry them open. And that whole time your body's like screaming that you're not getting enough oxygen. And so the wind getting knocked out of you feels horrifying, like you're drowning on the land. It's awful. I remember the last time it happened was really bad because I was sledding. Uh, we were going tubing up in the mountains and we we're having a blast and I went down this really like steep incline and at the bottom I hadn't noticed but somebody had built a ramp but because you know it's a ramp made of snow in a big field of snow and it had recently snowed it was very hard to see it until I was literally on top of it so I went I, I went and leapt, but because I wasn't like, I was just riding on the tube, I wasn't anticipating like launching. So as soon as we, I went off the ramp, the tube just went flying out from underneath me. So I just kind of soared through the air and slammed into the ground. Thankfully it was snow, so it wasn't nearly as bad. Like if I had landed on like, like rocks or something, it, I could have been hospitalized, but thankfully it was snow, so all it did was knock the wind out of me. But that evening, I had the worst migraine I've ever had in my life. I couldn't sleep, it was so bad. Thinks she's trying to tell us something, and sh as she isn't currently capable of speech, we should read her lips. <laughs> Even under violent torture, her Sundere spirit remains unbroken. You must admit the girl has guts. <laughs> Just gotta beat the grouch out. Oh no, wait, 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 no, no, don't, don't tell her that. Oh no. No, no. Like, we need to take her seriously. She probably can. Unfortunately, we do mind. Come on, Makina. You've given her a, hard, a pretty good beating already. I hardly think she has any need to render her unconscious, is there? You little demon. No, no. Sachi, please, no. No, no. No. What? Sachi stares fixedly at Michiru, apparently puzzling over the best way to make her faint. Of course, Sachi's a defining characteristic as her willingness to use any means necessary to achieve her ends, as Michiru is well aware. では、ここは一つ、バールのようなもので小さく申し上げましょう。どこ頭です。では、皆さん少々お待ちください。バールのようなものを用意させていただきますので。うん。うん。あれ、何もしていないのに気絶してしまいました。ああ、might <笑> Michiru lies collapsed on the floor, her nose twitching in terror. She seems she took it upon herself to lose consciousness before someone violently took it from her. A prudent choice for the perspective of damage minimization. <laughs> it's like, fine, if it's what it takes, I'll just knock myself out. Sachi, Michiru has kindly rendered herself unconscious for us, so I think the crowbar-esque tool is no longer necessary. Yes, 
では私はここで失礼させていただきます。Before you go, I've got a quick question. はい、何でしょうか When you said crowbar esque, were you thinking of specifically? それは、バールです。That's so. だったらバールでいいのよさなんでのようなものをつけたその出るかなと思いまして、雰囲気が。それでは、失礼いたします。I just wanted to set the mood. Bye, guys. <laughs> I see. A crowbar is certainly crowbar esque. Alright, what do we do with Michiru now that she's unconscious? This is going in so many dangerous directions. Of course. しばるときに縄の表面がトゲトゲして痛くないようにちゃんと蜜蝋で舐めしてあるから大丈夫だよそれじゃあね Why do you have function safe tying rope? Like it's not even like oh this is rope that you would use in like your, your field work or whatever this is like specifically for tying people and like and like 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 animals up That girl's ready for anything I have to admit I didn't expect her to have specialty BDSM ropes lying around Kind of. Well, well, this is pretty nice work. Drop rope bondage over the clothes has its own refined flavor. And you've got quite a respectable tortoise shell pattern over the bust here. <laughs> oh, okay, so you're accidentally into this. You produced that fine piece of work without even realizing you were doing it. You must have seen the pattern somewhere. Don't think about that. <laughs> Either way, I think you have a definite talent for this. Might be a potential career path. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Nakina runs off somewhere, leaving me alone in the hallway with Michiru, who's tightly bound from head to foot in an intricately crisscrossed web of jute rope. I'm to think of it, I thought tying her to Sakaki was the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very angry, angry rabbit right there. What's up, Tortoise? I thought you were supposed to be unconscious at the moment. Yeah, I guess it would be. I don't think many students would have the guts to engage in tortoise shell style rope bondage in the hallway of their own school. You sure about that? Once Makina gets back, she'll just call Sachi again. That seems problematic in its own way. Oh, so that's the issue? So if I leave, you'll be okay with that? Huh. So you'd like me to untie you after all? Oh, you're being awfully polite and straightforward about your feelings. There we go. I still feel like we were seeing a bit more of the real her. Ah,、uh, humankind's lot is a sad one. Our lives are full of paradoxes. Oh, it's much worse than you think. Oh, no, she's taking it serious. Oddly, no, I'm just kind of a witness. Nope, this happens to be Makina's work. Seems she's something of an expert. I, I don't think this will make a good thumbnail, but at the same time, we might want to capture this moment because there's just something special here. Yeah, after tormenting Michiru's body at length, Makina gave her a few final blows and finished things off by tying her up nice and tight. <laughs> Why is that the biggest problem? <laughs> She's not helping. So. その個人の趣味にとやかく言うつもりはないけど
公共の場所では遠慮してほしいわ。That's a better one. ここ学校でしょ That's a much better thumbnail idea right there. Sakaki's got a point. I have to agree. Yuji! Sure, so. Hitler, so. Ah, wait, you're a good guy. Hey, Yumiko! Ah, Sakaki, so. Sakaki, so. Ah, Makina, so. <laughs> could you, could you kindly? Would you, would you do me a little favor? Congratulations, Makina. You flipped her psychological switch. At long last, the true Michiru is broken free of her Sundere shell. <laughs> She's fully given in. She's like, I, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> Soon no more. You probably left too much slack in those ropes. Next time, tighten them until you leave a nice deep marks in her wrists. All right, get her rope drunk, and I'll be willing to bet she'll come a lot more obedient. Oh, you'll know when you see it. <laughs> we are such a bad influence. And thus, Makina demonstrated a brief glimpse of her hidden potential as a BDSM artist. But after Michida's vigorous scolding, she would never again put that ability to use. I watched the promising glimmer of a rising talent slowly, quietly fade away, never to realize its true potential, but couldn't really bring myself to care. The end. <laughs> Were we monologuing out loud? Hmm? Weren't you off trying to clear your name with Sakaki? Was I off base? You're planning to scold Makita, right? <laughs> ah, sorry about that. Hmm. But then again, didn't it feel really good when she finally untied the ropes? Really? All that stagnant blood laboring and circulating through your body under the pressure of the rope suddenly surging freely through your veins? I think that must have produced at least a light euphoria as a psychological phenomenon. I myself once experienced a wave of indescribable pleasure just from loosening the belt of my arms after a pressure training session. Jerk, jerk, jerk. I was like, idiot. More like, hmm. Huh? I didn't say you were. You're overthinking this. Don't promise me with a good time. I see. So you're a sadist. Uh, what a hopeless, confused individual. Can't even figure out her own sexual preferences. <laughs> She's probably like most of us, somewhere in the middle. A surprising number of people believe human beings were literally made by the hand of God. They reject the idea that our species evolved from apes or as irrevocably with their dogma. As irrevocable. Oh, irreconcilable. What am I saying? Irreconcilable with their dogma. There's also a slightly less fundamentalist group of that drops the religious language, but believes that some greater power must have guided the, cre the creation of humanity. This intelligent design theory might seem like pseudo-scientific window dressing amid the confusing, uh, 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 at confusing the issue, but personally, I can't dismiss their argument so easily. I mean, my stance is this. If there is a creator out there, it was definitely done with this intelligent design setting. Uh, the spontaneity idea really doesn't make any sense. There's not really any good, like, proper explanation for it, other than the fact that it was a great, it made a lot of sense to people who had no real idea about their place in the world or how the world functioned. Hard to understand, you know, evolution before you can see and trace and, like, evolution, DNA, and all that nature. So, yeah, I mean, I get it for why it exists, but I don't know. It seems kind of silly to hold on to that dogma. 
mainly because I find it very difficult to believe that millions of years of natural selection could have produced someone like my master. A designer with a nasty sense of humor seems far more possible. <laughs> If that woman happened to dig up mysterious mo monolith from the depth of Jupiter, she would probably have taken it back to her kitchen, used it as a cutting board. What sort of evolutionary process could have produced her? My master sat cross-legged on my back as I labored through my daily set of push-ups. Let there be light, she said, and lit her cigarette. Next, I heard a metallic pop, followed by the hissing release of carbon dioxide. Let there be beer, she muttered, and downed a can in one gulp. You know, there's a lot of guys that say they don't want to be cogs in the machine. Thing is, though, nobody's irreplaceable. There's always somebody else who can do what you do. Thinking you're special is like walking around wearing a big effing signing polka dot bow tie. It's obnoxious, for one thing, and it's only going to cause you grief. No shame in being a cog. Machines don't work without them. For the most part, the guys who figure out there are ones that figure out uh, figure that out are the ones who turn out decent and manage to stay that way. What's a decent guy like anyway? You and me, kid. Don't know many others. At the very least, we're, the, we're a heck of a lot better than the ones pulling the strings. We all need our role in the machine. That's a fact everyone has to face eventually. You can't just crawl into a nice dark shoebox, cuddle an air freshener for seven years, and call it a life. Seventy years. We only take shape in relation to others. Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth, said my master, tossing nutshells into the distance, a sour excuse for a smile on her face. <sighs> What's wrong? Something up with Sachi? That's very true. She might have gone the extra mile. Uh, by limiting the shipment to stores, they manufacture artificial shortages, creating the impression of overwhelming consumer demand. The limited av availability builds hype, turning the product into a genuine hit. Classic pattern. メーカーの戦略もあるかもしれないけど、本当に美味しいんだってば。私好きで切らさないようにしてたんだけど、部活にもストックがそこをついちゃってね。黒ごまプリタツアイスクリームちゃん。Black sesame super sweet. That sounds awful. What? Never heard of it. でしょうね。ユージは食べることにあんまり興味ないもんね。Way I see it, there are two varieties of food in the world: the type that's necessary for survival and the type that isn't. I'm just saying, fulfilling the basic nutritional requirements comes first. If the meal happens to taste decent, so much the better, but it's a secondary concern. Michiru, you alright? Oh. oh no. She legitimately believes you sneeze when people talk about you. Like, she legitimately believes it. What the? What? 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 Okay, okay. We're always told that unique individuals are valued by society for their outside the box thinking or whatever. Fact is, though, if you're too different from the rest of the peak pack, you're just going to get shunned and pushed outside the loop. Perhaps Michiru mistook that polite fiction for the way the world really works and concluded it would be wise to become as unique as humanly possible. If so, the girl is the sad byproduct of a measly mouth, uh, uh, mealy mouth times in which we live. You're a victim too, in a way. Hang in there, kid. You, you keep telling yourself that. クロゴマプリタツアイスクリームちゃんの話してなかった。そうそう。ミチルも知ってる。ふふ。当然じゃないの。あまねあれ好きでしょ。実は私の部。そう好き。だからサッチャに買いに行ってもらってるの。え、買
前髪切ったいや髪の毛は一切変えてないですじゃあなんでヘアスタイルの話したのよ変わってないのにあ、uh, あ、ね、そっそれはその、そのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそ That newfound ability to freely run around is enjoyed is so enjoyable that many toddlers can't sit still. <clears throat> the majority of children go through a phase of hyperactivity and fidgety impatience as they revel in the control of their bodies. The next step in the process of maturation involves developing the ability to restrain the impulse for restless movement, self control, in other words. It's actually really interesting. Like, it's a really weird tangent, but yeah, infants. So, like, a lot of infants, when their babies are squirm, they, they flail around, they like start to roll around, and, and then they start to crawl. You're actually watching them training their nervous system, which is really kind of odd to think about. But, like, when you're born, your nervous system's there, but it doesn't really know how it works yet, which is why we start off so, like, flaily. Uh, a lot of other animals have, like, their nerves pre programmed before, by instinct, but we've. Forgone so much natural born instinct for cranial capacity and future like capability. So when we're growing up, we're, re we're really trying to like figure out how our nerves actually function, which is why babies are so like this crazy and it takes so long for them to learn how to move and walk and carry themselves. But you know, it's because you're learning and training your own body, which is really cool. Accordingly, the fact that you can still sit still long enough to have your hair tied up is proof that you aren't a child. You're a big girl now. Awesome job. Very proud of you. Haven't you given up trying to understand by now? Just when we've rid ourselves of the noisy blonde, someone singing like a drunken sailor arrives in her stead. If anyone's looking for an actress to play a siren whose voice drives men to dash their ships against the rocks out of sheer irritation, I think I found the very suitable candidate. <laughs> What is that supposed to be? <laughs> If I stay here, I'm gonna get caught up in something troublesome. This calls for subtle but immediate evasion of accent, ev evasive action. I begin to quietly inch backward along the lobby floor. What is he like scooting on his butt? Wait, no, no matter how subtle one's movements may be, the in intent to escape is truly difficult to hide. I'm proficient at camouflage, concealment, and deception, but clearly stealth and under zero cover conditions is a different beast entirely. I'll have to make this a subject for future study. It's interesting because we're actually seeing an application of that thought we had at the very beginning. Calm down. Calm down. He was just thinking, like, we're so dependent on Sachi, what happens if she's gone? And we're already seeing that the world is literally falling apart for everybody. Was it really that important a request? I'm with a m o n e y in this one. You're going a little overboard with the melodrama. What? Uh, I think you may come to regret making that offer. I don't know. Alright, whatever you say. 
だっけ。せん。もうちょっと大きい声でお願い歌って私のために歌ってえな何それどういうことうんねさっき視聴覚室でテレビ番組のアーカイブライブラリーを何気なく見てたのよさあはそしたらおまんじゅう屋さんのオリジナル CM ソングを作って豪華商品を当てようキャンペーンというのをやってたのよ。She wants to win food. Well, that explains the bizarre pastry theme song you were working on earlier. 頑張って作ってみたんだけど、音楽なインテリジェンスを感じられなくて。I don't know if Sachi would be much better. 魂が震えるような曲じゃなくちゃダメなのよ。I mean, she would probably try to. Her best and do whatever she could, but like I imagine where she's a master at craft,、uh, like arts and crafts, I don't think she's a master of song. Oh, Makina, please. What's this prize you're so desperate to get your hands on? Postcard with the word winner stamped on the back? Zebras? I'm assuming it's pretty hard to raise a zebra in a normal household, so that price seems really unnatural for a contest advertised to the general public. In the first place, what does a year's worth mean? How many animals? Uh huh, yeah, sure, because you know, lions known for entering contests with song. So that's one year's worth of zebra and all you can eat is cents, huh? Not sure how many lions I've seen that program, though. Do you really think they can handle submitting their application on online? What? Where are we? Huh, I might have getting the feeling that Makina may have misheard someone. I'm so sorry. I don't think they actually said one year's worth of zebras at the end there. Maybe something like an Aurora viewing air trip to Iceland instead? Just a guessing? Oh, go figure. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> well, then the prize has shifted from zebras to Aurora, still interested in making a song for the contest. I would love a trip to Iceland, not just for the Auroras. The Auroras would be great, but Iceland in general sounds like a really cool place to visit. Okay, Michiru, I think you've got like an actual cold here, which is actually kind of amazing considering how much vitamins you eat. Yeah, 
Where we, we entered Loopy Land and nothing is making any sense here. Okay, so about the song. You're obviously practicing. You don't actually want us to care. Sorry, but more than a tsundere, you're coming off as a bother blithering idiot with a pathological inability to make up her mind. Can't you be a little more subtle about this? Amane's eyes flash as she watches Michiru Babylon. Even before she speaks, I can tell she's decided to offer the perplexed girl forth as a sacrificial lamb. We're all just playthings to Makina. うたうなんなのよ、歌うって。それじゃあ今からオーディションするから脱いだ服はそこの歌を歌えばいいの?あ、私が。そうなのよさ。チルチルもロラに興味あるでしょ?ロ。ロラ。そう。ロラ。馬じゃなくてロラ。わかる?オフコースシーダズ。ま、もちろんわかるわよ。
ってきた行くわよではではではいずれドリーミンあたしの心はマイハーあー、she's talk singing 放課後あなたを待ってる大化の裏好きキースやだやだウォンチュー憧れちゃうのよからの東風最終的に<笑>ムフーポカーン<笑>歌い切ったわね You should do my friend な、何をこれで満足したでしょう<笑> My apologies Seems our explanation was insufficient We needed you to come up with an advertising jingle for a pastry manufacturer called Bonboro You see, the company's trying to find a song for their next commercial with an Aurora viewing tour as the grand prize. Makina's hoping to win the contest. That was the whole point of this entire exercise. <laughs> When Makina asked you for a lyric expressing of sweetness, she wanted you to describe the flavor of a majun bun, not come up with a shaharin pseudo poetry. Accordingly, the original song you just offered us was another waste of effort. You have covered yourself in disgrace, and the world would be a happier place if none of this had happened. <laughs> My condolences. <laughs> yeah! Wait, Aurora was for Aurora? I knew that. You can leave. うう、うさいわね。ちゃんと説明しないあんたたちが悪いんでしょ。何でもいいから歌えってことかと勘違いしてたわよ。<笑> <laughs> She's just suppressed. <laughs> That's hilarious. You, I think he would rather die. Yeah, I don't mind. Here goes. Ahem. <clears throat> There's a lot of manju out there, but ours are made with care, so if you really want the best, you'll want to put us to the test. I think it's supposed to be there. Here and there might be pretty fair, but just put them to the test, and ours will prove the best. Bonabran means manju. They're the best. Something along those lines? It's actually amazing that he's actually a decent singer. Pop music in general tends to be pretty formulaic, and adver advertising jingles in particular usually have a fairly simple, catchy pattern, so I just combined a few of those. Oh, I want to go camping or cabining, I guess, technically, because camping is definitely more like tenting. That's not what she's really upset about. I think our good natured ribbing may have angered her somewhat. I think it's more accurate to say we gave her the opportunity to disgrace herself and more seriously damaged her ego. The, entire, the, the, the most serious damage to her ego was entirely self inflicted. For a person with a standard capacity for embarrassment, that level of humiliation might have inspired a suicide attempt on the spot. Thank goodness she's too stupid to know that, uh, know much in the way of shame. Uh, Amani -san! So mean. Hey! Why does she have to? Makina. 
それならそうするけどそれじゃチルチルをよろしくなのよ She ran away, plain and simple. カザミさん、私、うまく事態が把握できていないのですが。Thought she's naturally confused, so I provide a brief summary of the circumstances. なるほど、そういうことだったんですね。After a moment of silent contemplation, Sashi seems to have reached a conclusion. それはおそらく、アマネさんが安受け合いしてしまったのが原因だと思います。だとしたら、アマネさんにも謝っていただいた方がいいかもしれません。That's funny that she cuts right to the heart of it. もちろん、買い物に行っていた私にも責任はあります。No, you don't. おそらく、7割弱は私の責任です。No! It's like, at the very minimum, it's like 10% your fault. You were just doing something.、Uh, I'm not surprised to hear you say that, but I have to disagree. 8割強ですか No, your responsibility is pretty close to zero. I think we should probably have a m a n e o own up to this one. Hi, so it was so this, ne? So it was say to you, mono this. Mitchell Samani, who you kind of moyo sasetishmata wake this she, Amane Saniwa, I am at the Takimas. I still think uh, uh, Makina also should apologize, mostly because she clearly just wanted to run away. Shikashi, Maki chan kara tanomareta ijoa. No, I am at the Takimas. I see. In that case, shall we drag Amane along to make, the group make it a group apology? Hi, Wakarimasta. To you, Wakede, Michir Samani, I am at the Takimasenka. What does Mo Isoni Ayamara City Takimasno de? Mo Nande Kona Kotoni Kareki Motide Yanaka Yokata. You should know what a dangerous creature Makina is. Deva, you can't eat Kautske. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 Yeah. So Oh my gosh. その。ああ、ちゃんと謝るからそういうこと言わないの。ミチル、ミチル。早く開けて。そうしないと取り返しのつかないことになりそう。ミチル様、出てきていただけませんね。やはりもう許してはくれないのでしょうか。余談ですが
何度も言わせないでそれで何をねえ何を許すか教えてよ I feel like I'm losing my mind アマネさんまず私がお手本をさて Oh my gosh Okay, to make a long story short, Makina asked Amane to sing, but she pushed the job off to you, ultimately resulting in your thorough humiliation. Sashi's planning to atone for the misdeed by pulverizing her fingers. <laughs> it's complicated. Well, pretty much nothing. その責任を取って指をすべての指を。いやいやいやいや、そういうことじゃないから。そういうことじゃないのに責任を取ろうとしてしまって申し訳ございません。核なる上はこの小峰たち腹を全ての腹を許していただけるのですか。<笑> ほら、ね、ほら、ね。道ルも置いてることだし、落ち着いて。本当に許していただけるのでしょうか。本当だから嘘じゃないから。だから安心してね。Hey, I don't think that counts if you just drop your real thoughts into the stock phrase. とにかく私は許したのよ。だ。はい、かしこまりました。だそうです。よかったですね、天音さん。よかった。本当によかった。みちる、ありがとう。よ、よかったんだからね。安心したんだからね。ああ。それでは天音さん、次に先ほど頼
ぐぐぐぐ<笑>最高これよこれ求めていたのはこれなのよ OK that's actually very sweet よ,よかったわねさっちゃんみちるってば大喜びじゃない So let's see her face may be stained a disturbing shade of gray but it's just look at that smile ゲー<笑>ゲーぷ今限界を超えた悲鳴にも似た音が Nope it's perfectly fine 言ってないわよナイスでプーって言ったのよそうなんですかミチル様のお役に立ててよかったですでもアマネさんに頼まれた買い物なのにその使命を果たせなかったのが心残りでここはやはり粉砕という形での責任をあいやいいのよ私はほらそのばっかねそれは安心して私が個人的に買ったのが部屋の冷蔵庫にあるからそれをあまねにあげるわちゃんとあ本当ですかちょちょっと持ってくるから待ってなさいよねミチル you're good people you're good people look at this shiny through ありがとうございます<笑>あ、あんたのために持ってきたわけじゃないんだからね I really think she's straining the superstition of disbelief on that one but as a kind and thoughtful man I tactfully decide to keep that opinion to myself <笑>じゃあさっちゃん半分あげるから一緒にロビーに食べに行こうかよろしいんですかもちろんよお使いしてきてくれたお礼も込めてねはいありがとうございます。はあ、お,おいしくいただいたら承知しないからね。Stop. ああああ。Ah. Ah. Amane walks off with Sachi in tow. Michiru watches them until they're out of sight, gingerly rubbing her belly with both hands. Ah. 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 Na. Nani miten no yo? That was pretty decent of you. For a sundere, you're remarkably considerate at times. な何よそれ私は本当に黒ごまアイスは溶けてた方が好きなんだからね I see alright then if you say so ちょちょっと変な勘ぐりしないでよね Like what? 私がアイスをあれ勘ぐりしてない、uh, no. してないなら言う必要ないわ、うん Yes, you don't really need to tell me. On a completely unrelated subject, take a few of these. It's ser、uh, Serogan, herbal remedy. Does wonders for indigestion. I mean, they probably are, essentially. I mean, when you take dried leaves and roll them up in a ball, that's essentially what you have is like almost dirt. Quit yapping and swallow a few. It'll help, it'll help a bit. You'll feel terrible, don't you? So. So. Ah. Yuji. What? Ah. No. Ah. Ah. Oh. No. Spit it out. Mmm. Se. Ah. Se. 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 I see. Seems I'm still somewhat lacking in consideration towards women. The bitter scent of un uncoated、uh, serogan pills tickles my nose. As I turn away from the secondary woman's room, I might be a simple misunderstanding on my part, but I'm beginning to think she may have surprisingly a、uh, surprisingly thoughtful side. That was interesting. I have a headache. I think we're going to be ending here. Doesn't employ gym teacher. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're definitely ending here. Should be interesting. Again, yeah, surprising. Like, we haven't seen anything remotely close to the beach trip, but we got another decision point. That was interesting. Didn't really seem to mean much, though. Felt like we ended up helping regardless, but eh, whatever. And we'll see how this all plays out. But that was a really interesting scene. Michiru really kind of coming in clutch in the end, despite the airheadedness and the crazy singing thing and all that nonsense. But still, good stuff. Good、uh, character development. Because we see that there's a lot more complexity to her, and that she does have a really good capability of reading the room when the moment sets her. So, yeah, that was good. Good to know. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you so much. I enjoyed making this video. Of course, I always do, but I keep saying it because I mean it, and I'm really grateful to each one of you for being here. And especially for the patrons and the members, those of you who support the channel. This week's been a really odd week.、Um, 
Bosquar passed away, sadly. That was something I posted about on my socials. Um, just kind of weird. He's kind of one of the big pillars of the visual novel, like, community in the West, at least. And just to have him suddenly gone like that is really kind of, kind of sobering. Um, I also had a couple bonus videos coming out this week. Um, you know, and, and like, well, not bonus videos, but, like, featured videos, like my... Nitro the Public run that came out on Tuesday. It was a very special episode where it really highlighted a lot of the plot development of the game and kind of really highlighted what the magic of Star Wars was. And I really enjoyed like covering it to the point where I like I gave it a very unique title, changed its format, gave it a different thumbnail because I wanted it to stick out and I wanted it to be something that even if you didn't follow the series at all, I highly recommend watching it because it, I just break down like why Star Wars, and specifically Nitro the Public, is so good. And the, how powerfully written, like, the, the story and characters are in the second game. Uh, like, honestly, earth-shattering, a uh, wonderful, wonderful way of, like, breaking up uh, a setting that normally is very binary, where it's good versus bad, and kind of really taking a, like, a, like a, a philosophical approach to the whole system and just really making something beautiful from it. Uh, so yeah, that was really good. And then a friend of mine just recently put a Kickstarter up of the board game they developed. I put a video of that up yesterday. I don't know if that's of interest to you, but if you like board games, please, I wait around checking it out. I want to, I, I, I just want to see a friend, like, find the success and audience that I think they deserve because they worked really hard and the game's really fun. So, uh, if board games are a thing you find interesting, uh, I just highly recommend you check it out and see if it's of your interest, obviously. Don't, it's not like it's sponsored or anything, just more of a, like, hey, my friend's doing this and I wanted to, you know, showcase it in any way I could because I want them to find good chance to succeed. So anyway, enough about that. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen. And until the next video, watch will be up to see me next. I'll see you there.